The Google Ads search terms is one of, if not the most important element of managing a Google Ads campaign. The Google Ads search terms shows you the exact keywords and phrases people are typing into Google, which are then triggering your ad. The premise of Google Ads is pretty simple. It's to show your ads for relevant traffic that is likely to lead to a conversion or inquiry or a sale. A search term report helps you understand what you're actually paying for when it comes to your Google Ads campaign. And in this video, I'm gonna break down how you can get maximum value of analyzing the search term report, uh, understanding what elements of it you need to look at, where you need to optimize so that you can get the best possible return from your Google Ads campaigns. So let's dive right in. First step is to actually navigate to the search terms. And it's very simple, depending on which version of Google Ads you're using, um, some, sometimes it might be in something called insights, but if you're on the version I'm using at the moment, it'll be under this drop down keywords, and then you go to search terms. Here it will show you a full list of all the search terms that your ads are showing for, what clicks you've had from each of these different search terms, what conversions you've had, the cost per conversion for each individual search term. And the important thing to note is the main difference between the keyword and the actual search term is that the keyword is the, the keyword that you're targeting within your ad group. The search terms is what users are actually typing in. And what a lot of people get confused with is optimizing at the keyword level rather than at the search term level. So if you go into keywords here, um, or we go into certain ad groups first, and let's pick, for example, let's pick an ad group called Location North London. You can see all the different keywords that we've got within our ad group here. Now, when looking at this, you can see, okay, Roof Repairs North London, that's doing pretty good. That's had nine conversions. So you might think, oh, that's, that's a winning keyword for us. But what are the actual search terms behind this? And there's a great way you can identify this by clicking on the keyword and then clicking on search terms. So you can see the keyword that we're targeting is roof repairs North London. And that's something by default in the search term report, which won't show up. So you'll need to add that as an additional column, but you can see roof repairs North London as a keyword is showing us for roofers North London, uh, North London roof repairs, North London roofer. So it's not necessarily always related to repairs. It's showing you what's uh, just generally related to that keyword. Because uh, we might find that our, a certain search term has nothing to do with repairs, but our keyword that is triggering the search term has something to do with repairs. And so this is important when understanding how you can optimize your ads for better relevancy. So if we take the example of this, where you can see our keyword is roof repairs North London, but we might find that our, most of our conversions are coming from, in, let's say in this example, it might be for nothing to do with repairs, but it might just be to do with North London roofers, North London roofing, um, we may want to optimize the ad to include more content related to just general North London roofing rather than repairs. That That's a very generic example, but you kind of get the idea from it. So that allowing us to, or going back to that report where you can go to the individual keyword and then show search terms directly related to that keyword is a, a very useful tool. And to get rid of it, you can just click X and then you're taken back to the exact same screen here. And so when trying to optimize your campaigns, you need to look at the, the whole kind of list of search terms that, that we have on our screen here. What's getting conversions? Are we spending a lot of money on a particular search term, which is leading to no inquiries or perhaps a very high cost per lead? Um, and you can do this manually just from organizing the columns according to high to low. So you can see here, if we organize by cost per conversion, let's see if we have anything particularly high here. So you can see our highest cost per conversion in this particular ad group is only at 40 pounds. And that's well within our kind of target limit. But if we go back into the main uh, search terms report at the campaign level and then organize it by cost per conversion. Let's see, can we organize it specifically from highest to low? This will do. Uh, you can see here our 
highest uh, cost per conversion is at £100, and this is coming from the search term Watford Roofing. You can see Roofed's Watford. But when you dig a bit deeper into this, we're like, okay, they're both kind of relevant to uh, relevant search terms. What is it about this Watford Roofing which is causing us to have a much uh, more expensive cost per lead? We're getting a decent volume of clicks. Our conversion rate's only at 7%, whereas most of our conversion rates for converting keywords is at 50%. Perhaps Watford Roofing might be a competitor name. So that's something we may need to exact match. So if we copy and paste that into Google and kind of figure that out, you can see Watford Roofing, lo and behold, is a competitor name. So that is probably one of the reasons why um, that keyword or that search term isn't converting particularly well for us, but it might also be something that does work at the same time because we have had one conversion from it. Um, now you'd need to go into your CRM to see if that then led to an actual appointment and then sale. But that that's kind of like how you can get a better understanding of how to use the search term report. And in the same breath, um, when we're talking about what we don't want our ads to show for, this is the exact place to analyze this information. And I actually have a more efficient way of doing this so if you go to the search terms and then you click on download and let's download this as a Google sheet and I'll walk you through it. So let's just download this. And as it, while it's preparing, we'll then be able to access it in a moment. Okay, after a few seconds, that's now downloaded. You can see here we've got our full downloaded list of our search term report. Now, I like to just kind of get rid of these couple of rows at the top, delete this, delete these rows here, and then add a filter to this. And then let's organize it by clicks. So you can see we've got all of our search terms organized by clicks from high to low. So these are all the search terms that we can see that have produced a click for our campaign. Now, what we want to do here is add an additional column to the right of this. I'm going to, and I'm going to title this column relevant. And what you want to do is go through this list of all the search terms that your ads are showing up for and mark it as yes, no, or maybe as irrelevant. Because what this is gonna do is give us a score on the quality of traffic that we're paying for. So if you can see something like here, we've got what for roofing, yes, that is relevant to us. Harrow roofing, yes, or perhaps that's actually more of a maybe based on what we just found out. Harrow roofing company, that would be a yes. And so you go through this whole list marking yes, no, maybe as to does this keyword relate to the traffic that I'm looking to acquire? Um, and then based on this, what you can do is then highlight this whole column and then produce a, a chart from it. Uh, I've already got an example of this here because I've gone through this whole list already. So you can see here, I've broken down this whole list of all of our relevant keywords, yes, no, and maybe. So you can see uh, we've had a competitor name there, which I've marked as no. And I've got this UK roofing slough, which might be a maybe it might be a company name. It also, you know, when you've got the word like UK in it, it might not be quite the right fit for what we're looking for. But what you can do is highlight this whole column, click on this uh, insert chart, and then it will give you a chart based on the data here. So you can see here, the, the majority of our traffic is all good quality, relevant traffic, 92% of it with then only 3.4 and 4.6 being like a no or a maybe. So we know our traffic is dialed in. So if we're having conversion rate problems, we probably need to look more so at the landing page itself as the reason why we're not getting conversions. And it might be that perhaps our landing page isn't relevant to the search terms that people are typing in. In this case, it's fortunate because they are, we're getting a good conversion rate across the board for for most of the search terms that are coming up, anywhere between 20, 50%, that sort of thing. And, and it's understanding the quality of traffic that you're getting. 
And that really is, again, the whole premise of Google Ads is to understand, are we paying for the right stuff, which is going to lead to conversions? You know, <laughs> that, that's, that's it. That's the whole job of Google Ads is getting quality, relevant traffic. If it's doing that and you're not getting convergence, look at the landing page. And I've got plenty of resources on, on that as its own topic in itself. But another thing you need to do with the search terms is go through them and understand, like, like we did before, what is, uh, what is having a negative impact on your campaign? What keywords or search terms do you not want to show up for? And the most common ones are typically competitor names, uh, out of area locations, as well as specific niche uh, type search terms, which are kind of re like related to the topic that you're targeting but are ultimately not going to lead to a conversion. And so for this instance, for, for our client here, what you might find is specific tiles, materials. But so for our roofing client, what I mean by like niche keywords are specific keywords related to the niche, which are going to be like, uh, you know, construction materials, uh, how to uh, do it yourself type search terms which we don't want to show for because they're not going to lead to conversions. And I always like to add negative keywords and go through this list on a weekly basis, sometime on a daily basis, if it's a large enough account and it's getting a lot of clicks every single day, and then pick out the ones which are unlikely to lead to conversions, put them in a notepad or put them on a separate document and then add them to the specific negative keyword lists that we have separately rather than add them in here and then add as negative keyword because it will typically add it at a campaign or ad group level and then sometimes i only want to pick out certain words from the search term rather than add it as the full thing that's why i do it kind of separately and then track it in a separate document so that on a weekly basis i can see what keywords or what search terms i've added as negatives and so it's very simple you then once you've built that list in a separate document go to your tools and settings, go to your negative keyword lists, and then you can go into your specific uh, negative lists and then add them directly in there. And then just make sure they're applied at the campaign level as well. And that's pretty much it when it comes to analyzing search terms. It really is the lifeblood of the campaign. It shows you full visibility of um, what you're actually paying for. And one thing actually, but before we conclude the video is that if you scroll down, you're going to see this thing called, um, other search terms and other search terms are basically the keywords or the, or the search terms that Google don't show you. And unfortunately there's nothing you can do to get better visibility on this. That you used to be able to. Uh, find ways to access this through Google Analytics. Since GA4, that's not possible anymore. And I think it was actually discontinued even in um, Universal Analytics. But unfortunately, these other search terms are uh, due to GDPR reasons, or sometimes perhaps they're just keywords which don't have enough so search volume for, for Google to feel that they need to warrant <laughs> to show you them. So unfortunately, that is one of the challenge with search terms as well is that there is a large percentage, it could be 40, 50% sometimes that you just can't see. A workaround to this is adding keywords as exact match. So kind of picking high volume type keywords like uh, roofer near me, add it, add it as an exact match in your campaign and that should reduce um, the amount of other search terms and improve your search term visibility as we call it. And, and help you get better clarity as to what your ads are showing up for. Um, so yeah, that, that's one tip on how you can manage this other search terms. But as, as you go down this list as well, you'll also see all the search terms that your ad has not received click for, but is, but is receiving impressions for, particularly for newer campaigns where your traffic quality isn't as dialed in yet. You definitely still want to go through these uh, search terms which don't have any clicks but do have impressions and you can add filters to to this as well by going up to the top here and you can add certain filters such as um, has zero clicks but more than 10 impressions and it will show you re reoccurring uh, search terms that you may want to negative or perhaps you want to pay more emphasis and add into the campaign. 
So when it comes to optimizing your Google Ads campaign, really it's just understanding what search terms you're showing up for and, and when to create new ad groups and when to add these high performing search terms as new keywords, either into existing ad groups or perhaps into new ones as well. So hopefully this tutorial has been useful, has given you a bit more insight into how to use the search terms within Google Ads. Um, please, please, please uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed learning about Google Ads and write a comment below as well if you've had any experience in the search term uh, report, what you've kind of found to be a useful tactic for managing your own campaigns and uh, subscribe if you found this useful and are looking to follow along for more Google Ads landing page related content. I will see you in next video. Take care.